Today is Saturday, June 1st, 2013. My name is David Favor, and this is the fourth and probably final video in this little short series of uh, using ScreenFlow to do really rapid uh, video workflows. Um, so what we're going to do in this video is we're going to take um, the existing uh, project here, which is the Evan Pagan Accelerate press release. And we're going to turn that into a video template and show um, how fast it is to do, uh, for example, you know, Rob, you're doing press releases all the time, so just how easy it is to create a template. Now one of the things, I was just thinking about this, uh, just to wrap up, this virtual set here. Welcome to another PRReach.com video news release in today's news. Evan Pagan Accelerate... I mean, what I did was instead of figuring out how to loop it because it doesn't seem like um, I was reading through the documentation of um, ScreenFlow and it looks like that's a feature that's been requested a lot but doesn't exist yet, is um, uh, instead of actually having the background loop, I just stretch the whole thing out, which means that the images changing back here in the background are changing a lot slower than in the original footage. So, you know, if it is required that that background change quicker, um, might have to go into another uh, tool to create a, um, uh, a longer uh, set of looped video. Or, hmm, I, mean, I could probably, um, well, that might be an interesting video to do also, is to um, use... Um, FFmpeg to create a, um, I don't know, like a five minutes of uh, looping video. And I, I won't do that today, but that's probably the easiest way to do it is that an FFmpeg, I'm sure it would just, I'd just go find the recipe to figure out how to do that. And it'd be a very simple command line command. Uh, and then you take that five minute uh, video and drop in here and since all the press releases are uh, you know two to four minutes um, it'd be an easy thing to do now you might want to go ahead and do like a, maybe a five minute one and maybe a 30 minute or an hour one of a loop so that uh, while while the uh, recipe was accessible and I knew where it was I um, might uh, just do that uh, but anyway so um, back to the uh, task at hand here to create a template out of this video is very, very simple. All you do is go to the, um, uh, well, actually first let's do this. Let's say uh, save, whoops, what, there's no save as? Ah. Well that's ridiculous. So we're going to have to get out of this and go over here. There's no save as in ScreenFlow. Come on, ScreenFlow guys. Um, all right, so we're, then we're just going to say duplicate this. Boom! And we're going to change this to the, um, as soon as it gets finish, finishing duplicating. We're going to change this to the PR reach. Actually, we'll do um, screen flow template, and this one is going to be for PR reach. Now, if I right click on this and I say show package contents, and I go and click on media here, it also has in here this original Evan Pagan Accelerate video, which we do not want because we don't want that straggling around and hanging around going from project to project. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm to finish this uh, uh, template file out is I'm going to double click on this to open it up and I'm going to go into the media bin and click on this. This is the footage here of the little girl speaking. Delete media and it's going to say it's on the timeline. Are you sure? And I'm going to say yep. 
So now what we've got is we've got a template. All it's got in it is the um, the intro and then the um, uh, virtual set and then at the end it's got the outro and usually what I'll do with the uh, outro is I will um, take it and put it on a different track so because if you try to drop a five minute video in here it's gonna hit that and it's not gonna drop in very easily so I just drop uh, to use this template actually let's let's save this boom and let's see if that uh, resource that uh, big honkin video file went away that was there up oh, good so it's disappeared so now the only three pieces of media in here are the uh, intro outro and virtual set so then to use this you would just go in here to PR assets and you'd go to your ScreenFlow template you'd say duplicate it rename it um, you know whatever you're gonna rename it so let's say that uh, we were gonna do a press release that was gonna be today we'd say uh, 2013 um, 0601 uh, and say it's a press release for um, I don't know um, uh, Austin Uber dentist I don't know. and then now that we've got our template file there we just open that up and if you know if uh, our um, media that we're going to use was going to be this mp4 file we just drop it and drag it in the media bin and once it's there we take, take it over here drop it in then we take this outro and line it up with the end and then hit command s to save the file and export it to where you know using whatever export settings so the, the point of that was that um, we'll get rid of this now because we don't need it the point of that was is you see how fast that was you just open you open the the are you you do you make a duplicate copy of the template and then you rename that template to whatever your press release is going to be and you open the template and drop the uh, you know whatever video file into it you like and uh, bump the uh, outro up against the end and also you might have to change slightly the um, uh, the size of the um, um, or the length of the virtual set in the background to get it all to line up and so you're looking at like a, a 60 second edit cycle uh, you drop it in and you might have to trim a little bit off the front and back of the video but you're you're you're, you're realistically looking at about a 60 second edit cycle until you start exporting and the export if you're using a beefy uh, Mac Pro system like I suggested uh, for a three minute video here will take about two minutes and if you pick the uh, export settings like I say even on a slow internet connection you could upload the uh, resulting video to uh, YouTube in probably less than five minutes. So what that means is that you could do an entire press release. Uh, if the shoot takes you, um, you know, five minutes to do, and then the uh, editing takes uh, one minute, and the export takes um, a couple of minutes, and the upload takes a couple of minutes, you're looking at a 10-minute total turnaround time from when you turn the camera on to start filming till your video is uploaded and already published in other words it's transcoded on YouTube and that's the reason I picked that particular setting if you cap that setting at uh, 4,000 or 5,000 kilobits per second then that uh, uh, step at YouTube where they transcode the video into their own in-house format will be much faster than if you you know leave that at, at some huge bitrate so uh, anyway, that's the um, the entire uh, process there of going through and uh, creating a green screen video with uh, ScreenFlow.